those are things that we guys have to work on. You know? It's not that we guys don't care for our women. It's not that we don't love our women. It's just that romantic gestures don't come naturally. They don't fall in either one of those categories of providing, protecting. We guys have to work at being romantic. Now, I admit some guys get really good at it. A buddy of mine told me this is what he did for his wife the first Valentine's Day they shared together. She came home from work, came through the front door. He made a trail of chocolate kisses that led her into the bathroom where he was waiting for her in a bubble bath with champagne and flowers. Oh, oh here the women. Oh. <laughs> and all the guys were thinking, yeah, what's he going to do next year? <laughs> Parachute naked in a volcano. <laughs> so much I love you, baby. Ow! <laughs> See, if any of the men in this room are like me, the first time you hear this story, you can't help but think about how much time must have taken this man to come up with this plan, how much time must have taken this man to execute this plan. That's time must have taken away from doing something like making money. It's our natural instinct. Because most, most romantic gestures for man and woman require gift, gifts require money. That's why you know money's so important to guys, even a romantic gesture. I mean, here it is, 1994, men and women are both going for equal opportunities like, but still, the man gives the woman an engagement ring, does she give anything back like an engagement jet ski? <laughs> it's not going to happen any time soon, is it? <laughs> because since the beginning of time, the man gives the woman a gift. Once again, the gift symbolizes his ability to be a provider, to earn a living. It symbolizes that he loves her, he cares about her. A man gives a woman a gift, she bonds emotionally with him through that gift. What does a man look to bond in return? Some sort of affection. That's why when a guy comes in the house with a present for her, he always has a little look of expectation on his face. <laughs> what would I bought you? What did I get for that? <laughs> a kid. I want more than a kiss. Right, right there, I get something bigger than that. I sincerely underestimated the value of that gift. I'll never have a gift. <laughs> not putting out any blame here. I'm just telling you that's the way the system's set up. And you know it's true. <laughs> the holidays are coming up. You watch the television commercials for any holiday. Christmas, Hanukkah, Valentine's Day. What do TV commercials show that men should buy women for the holidays? Diamond. Diamond. Yeah. You guys like me, you watch those commercials. You can't help but get the message. Year in and year out, basically the same commercial. Every time they run it, there'll be, be a storyline with a commercial opening shot of a woman sitting in a high back chair in front of a roaring fire. Fireplace. And man comes in the house and presents her with a diamond, she stands, they embrace her, and they show a shot of her feet where her dress falls on the floor. <laughs> Every guy sitting at home going, I get it. <laughs> I gotta buy a big dime. <laughs> Maybe I can fool it with this Kirby Sirconium thing. Where the hell is that shopping <laughs> What did the same holiday commercial show that women should buy men? 1995 Sports Illustrated subscription. Some sort of goofy gadget like Electric Razor he could take in the shower with him. This is great, dear. Gonna take a shower and shave at the same time. Get to work earlier, make more money, buy more diamonds. That's like fantastic. <laughs> this thing will take years off my life. Fantastic. 